Okay, so thanks so much, Paul. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, we're going to do a quick uh, demonstration, and just to save time, uh, I have uh, I had Dr. Uh, Garrett Lewick here. He's one of our research fellows from Bochum, Bochum, Bochum Germany. We have a, a great uh, educational partnership with Thomas Schildhauer, um, and um, we're very fortunate to get. Uh, Dr. Lewick here for the year. So um, we've already done the discectomy and uh, Dr. Lewick placed a uh, titanium 3D printed cage. Mm -hmm. We did have to fix, I think Jerry kind of messed things up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So um, we had to fix, uh, Jerry I think ended up getting in the chest cavity so we had to repair Mm -hmm. um, what Jerry did, and I think we're at L12. We're at chest tube in two. <laughs> um, you can actually see the dome of the diaphragm there, and um, we've placed one of these cages. So, um, can you guys see this cage? And the cage actually is um, when you insert it, which we've done here. It's um, it's inserted, and then we can take it off, and then we can add this lateral plate on. And we've already done that just to save time. So the um, retractor's in, we did the discectomy, and then, um, and then Dr. Lewick placed the uh, inner body cage. It's a little bit longer than what I like, but we're not gonna redo mm -hmm. it, huh, Garrett? Yeah, I think it looks still adequate, yeah. So now, um, again, this is one of those things, and I think, you know, uh, between all the excellent talks that we've had, um, you know, and, and demonstrations. This is a, a lot of the companies will have this lateral plating system. Some of them will actually, uh, they're kind of glued on to the plate. Mm -hmm. This one screws on, and then you can actually uh, either use an awl to put the screws in, and I'll show you guys what that looks like, or you can drill it. So Garrett, why don't you show everyone here? Mm -hmm. So you push on it. Yep. So that's the awl. Do you see it? Yes, yeah. And then, and then we also have a drill. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and because it's a cadaver, I think we can probably use either one. The bone's going to be very soft. Um, and uh, Bill's here with us. Um, and so, Bill, what size screws do we have? Do they start at 30 or 35? Uh, size 24. 24? And 28. Okay. Third. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why don't we try a 30 millimeter screw? Mm -hmm. And then uh, Dr. Lewick is going to go ahead. So, Garrett, go ahead and see if you can get the, um, the plates already on there. Yeah. And so you just have to, I, I don't know if you can see. Yeah. So what we'll it. do is go ahead and take off our. Hey, Rod. Yeah. You know, a lot of problems that I've faced, and I don't do lateral plane too much anymore, but I went through this period where I did some. Um, it's hard to get the correct angle. Often you can't be uh, acute enough. And so yeah. it almost is parallel to the end plate even. I mean, any tricks on that, or is there an angle? You know, that's an excellent question. Each company has their own, um, but that's definitely a problem because you have a very small incision, and then you're trying to angle um, to try to get out. So, yeah, I mean, I think I definitely have that problem. I think it's it's more of a problem with those larger Canada screws. Um, these these other ones, they're a little bit little bit easier to get in. So go ahead and. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, sorry about that. Yeah. So let's go ahead and um, so Garrett's going to go ahead and and mm -hmm. you can see it's pretty simple. You just put it right over it and then let's get a shot. So go ahead, mm -hmm. Garrett. Yep. Push down. Yeah. It's almost like doing an ACDF, you know. Definitely. Um, yeah. And. Uh, you can put that in there. So, Rod, are there yeah. different um, heights or lengths of these uh, this lateral plate? I mean, this looks yeah. pretty tall. Uh, so, I mean, obviously, you're not going to get into the issue I mentioned. Normally, a lot of them are shorter. I mean, is this what you would normally? Yeah, um, I mean, select? this one. You mean where? You mean it's it's sitting off the end plates or the well, quite a bit, bars. right? So, yeah, you I mean, this ideally, and this is just my fault. I should have. You're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, is I would have liked to put a shorter uh, cage in and then have the plate sit right on top of the vertebral body. Okay. So I agree with you. In fact, we could probably do that here. It's, you know, just because it's a cadaver, it doesn't make any difference too much. 
Um, and then uh, let's go ahead and, uh, Bill, what size screw do we have here? That is a 30. Okay, a 30 millimeter screw. Mm -hmm. And then, so Garrett's gonna mm -hmm. go ahead. And then we also have a special guest here. Thank you, um, Eric, Eric Cepeda. Hi, hi, Eric Cepeda. Great, Eric is um, visiting from? Mexico City. Mexico City, orthopedic surgeon? No, uh, neurosurgeon. Neurosurgeon, yeah. mm -hmm. okay, great. So Eric's gonna go ahead and put the next one in. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then, and again, I mean, I, like you said, Paul, I usually don't um, plate, first of all, um, the, what I've found in my experience, plating doesn't really work. You know, usually, especially for the lumbar spine, you have to go in and do um, uh, posterior fixation. So this is just in case, or if, you know, mm -hmm. you're not gonna be able to, um, let's say if you do an ACR, I, I use it mo mostly for ACRs. Okay. So let's get a shot there. Great. And then now Eric's gonna go. Are you are you nice and tight there, Gary? Yep. Okay. So Eric, you're next. Looks good. Was that fairly easy to do? Pull it up. Yeah, that was very easy. Great. So you can go just in. pull it yeah. up. Just there you yeah. go. Okay. And then Eric's gonna go in. And then Eric, Thank you, you have your choice as well. You can either use an awl or a drill. Which one would you like? So, so you go like this. So this is, that's the awl. Yeah. And then I think the Garrett switch. stole the drill. Yeah, yeah. So, I used the drill. Yep, yeah, so that's the drill. Which one do you want to use? I prefer that one. The awl? Okay, great. So can you see, um, look inside there and then see the plate? Yeah, I can see. Okay, and then see the trajectory. See how Garrett basically went across from one pedicle to the other? Yeah. So that's what you want to do. So I get it. Let's get a shot. This one is a... So you want to put it in the, so look, you want to put it inside. Do you see the little plate there? There you go. So now go ahead and put that in there. And then I usually just, let's get a shot there. Perfect, yeah. And then what I do is I push on this so you can see shot there. And so that's the tra trajectory of the, of the, uh, the screw's gonna go. That's it. Okay. And then we'll get, what size is this one, Bill? So 30. Okay, so 30 millimeter. And you guys can see that uh, nicely under the video camera. And then Eric, if you can just pull back, so then that way they can see. Let's get that, see that view? Yeah. So it's like an anterior cervical fusion, but this is a lateral plate. So what you wanna do is you wanna put your hand like that and then try to move it so the camera, there you go. And then before you start tightening it down, let's get a lateral x-ray. X-ray? Right. So, um, Eric, I'm sorry about the weather here. It uh, rained, it's a little, a little you know, ball, but that's... Rained yesterday, and yeah, then it, it was cloudy yeah. this morning, you know? This is typical Seattle weather, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> X-ray? So, it's not like Mexico City, you know? Yes, uh, Mexico City is a little warmer, yeah. But that's fine. Have you been to okay. Seattle before? No, that's First fine. time? Yeah, wow. The first time, yeah. Just to come to this course? This is the first time wow. here. Wow, great. You came to see Dr. Hines and Dr. Pimenta, <laughs> I know. So how does it feel? The bone is okay? That, that's yeah. a, a little bit um, um, weakness, I, I, I think, a little, a little weak, the bone, but I, I, next rate, let's see. Great, so you got a couple more turns, go ahead. So how about in Mexico City, do you guys do lateral plating or no? Ma, I know different guys that do yeah. that, this kind of approach, but um, personally, I don't have so much experience with this. Doing with lateral. This, yeah, doing lateral. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a, um, definitely uh, takes a few cases to learn how to do these. So let's get a shot before shot. we come out. Maybe go a couple more turns. So in my experience, you know, these lateral plates, because the lumbar spine has so much rotational forces, they... Um, Typically, they don't they don't always fuse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in my what, experience, and I don't know what, what how the group feels about it, but what side do you prefer? The depend of the the formation of the spine, the the side with more open or the side with more close in the space. Um, as far as the side, I mean, I think on like for example on this one. You know, we probably you could have used a little bit of a wider cage and shorter. Yeah. Um, let's get a shot there. Maybe get, let's get a couple more turns.
But like I said earlier, I've kind of gone away from plating, but it's, it's great to have that ability. You know, if you take the, uh, um, if you do an ACR, if you feel like it's not very stable, great. So now let's go ahead um, and let's get our final shots. Is it stuck there? Yeah, go ahead and pull it. Make it. There you go, perfect. And then do you have a, um, let's go and let me see that instrument one more time. Let's get, oh yeah, you've got a final tighter. Okay, shot there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So that's basically it. That was our demonstration. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think, Eric? It looks pretty easy, yeah. I don't know. Maybe because the patient doesn't bleed any, any, any kind of blood. Yeah, blood. usually this isn't very bloody. But you do have to be careful as, uh, and make sure, see how the, the, the plates a little, could be a little bit further down on the vertebral body. Yeah. Um, but you actually surprisingly get good fixation. I just don't think it's enough. Yeah. You know, I usually have to go from the back. What do you think? Uh, I really think Look. that once you have really a good approach, it all works, yeah. works pretty nice with yeah. this nice view. It's, it's great. pretty easy. And then, um, uh, you know, and, and uh, usually, Again, in this one uh, is it uh, L, looks like L12. Um, you know, typically uh, on these cases, we'll then go and do posterior fixation either the same day or bring the patient back. So, great. That's it. Thank so, you. another fantastic course here um, at SSF. I really appreciate everyone, all the great faculty. Um, we had international uh, uh, attendees and all the viewers online, and, and we really couldn't do this without all the great team here at SSF, people like Gary Hawley. Gary, great job. Thank you. Um, and the, and the, you know, all the faculty flying all over, and, and of course can't do this without industry. So hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and thanks again. Thank you so much. Thanks.